If you're playing the game of football manager, you probably ask yourself this question many times before. Is it the tactic or do I change the goalkeeper? On today's show, we're going to compare how two teams are doing and answer that question. Do we have to change the tactic for one team or do we just have to go out and look for a goalkeeper? This video shouldn't take too long and it's based off some of the live streams that I've been doing over on btnlive.com and Yes, uh, we also do bring your tactics on Wednesdays where we frequently ask the very same question. What kind of chances are we giving away? Now, when you're playing the game of football manager, you got to be very careful because sometimes you could be, you could have a really good tactic, but you're conceding goals and you're blaming the goalkeeper when in reality, changing the goalkeeper is not going to make much of a difference. So let's begin by looking at one team. I've got this tactic here. Looks pretty simple. We've done really well in terms of uh, lots of uh, matches where I've played. We've created some fantastic goal scoring opportunities. Here you can see three clear cut chances against Copenhagen. Against Inter, it was three clear cut chances again against Inter. So, yes, looks like the tactic looks good, right? Now, the thing is, I want to do a deeper dive into those numbers. Right, so you go to the data hub, I go to team, I go to team performance. The first thing I check is this defensive efficiency because this tells me on average how many shots my team has to face. They face on average eight shots a game. Now, that's not too bad. Eight shots they face per game. Some of these could be off target. You know, that's that's okay. So how have we done in the last five games? Now I want to understand if I'm facing eight shots per game, what kind of shots am I giving away? To find that information out, we don't have something here. What I normally have to do is I have to go to um, last five matches. The goals conceded location, as you can see, they are fairly central. These are pretty solid XG chances. Now, the data also tells you where you're giving away most of your chances from, right? Okay, where are they? Where are you allowing your AI to create most of the opportunities from? And this comes from opposition final thirds. Entries. Now, this tells me that my left side is pretty solid in terms of denying space. Maybe we'll want to adjust something on the right side. But uh, but you notice one thing. Most of the chances are coming from the middle. This explains why our shots are so centrally placed. So, this tells me that this tactic, while it is decent at creating chances, it also gives opponents... Fairly good chances from within the area. Let's dive a bit deeper. Now let's go and look at our goalkeepers. Now if I'm looking at my two goalkeepers, one guy's safe percentage is closer to 69%. The other guy's is 90%. The safe ratios tell me that, okay, Niclo De Lago has done better. Alex Murray, uh, expected goals prevented. Now I'm not too worried about this expected goals prevented when I'm on analyzing my own goalkeepers. I actually don't want a high number. If I have a high number, it means that they've got a lot of... Uh, I'm putting the opposition in very good positions to shoot at me and I'm depending on some exceptional goalkeeping from my goalkeeper. So actually, I want this number to be low. It just reflects on my tactics reasonably decent. So here, Liclo de Lago is like, expected goals prevented is two. Murray is about, I mean, almost three. That's probably because Murray has saved uh, penalties, right? Two out of three penalties. That's why it's a bit inflated. So this is something that we want to address. So I'll probably go to the tactic. And I'll probably turn this guy into a support duty. This guy, I'll leave him on support. And then I'll change this guy to from a roaming playmaker to a DLP. And this player is a white center back. Um, he was on support. We'll change him to defend. So these are the adjustments I'm going to make to improve my tactic. Because, and also, I'll start looking for a successor to the Murray position and start giving this player more game time. Because he's performing much better in this position. The only reason... The only uh, difference between Murray and Del Lago is basically Murray is greater, better at stopping penalties. So now we're going to go to launch. We're going to try and tweak our system as well here. Uh, the team is done well. They top of the table. But how have we done is uh, defensively. So I'm going to look at the data hub, the team, defensive, efficiency. Not bad. I mean... Opposition conversion rate is very low, even though they've got more shots than uh, the Napoli team, right? It's almost 11, 10, 10, uh, I don't know, 10 point something. And that's quite a decent a number, of, number of chances. Looking at the goalkeepers and the advanced goalkeeping prevented. Okay, I am putting my Bryce Samba defensively. He's got a lot. I'm giving too many. Right, His save ratio is an incredible 100%. 
Right? This is this is outstanding, right? But expected goals prevented 5.6. That's a lot. I, I'm put I have to address this because uh I, this is this requires Bryce Samba to be performing out of his skin for a lot of games. He's been keeping us in in you know in good nick for a lot of matches. Has he had to prevent any penalties? No. So it would seem that we still need to address this issue because um yeah, we have to improve our defensive structure. So I will go to the data again and look at the last five matches. Now, the last five matches, it seems that uh well, we limited them. They, they're finding it pretty hard to attack us down the flanks, right? The left wing, it's not an easy area for them to score from. Um, and then um uh, we've considered none of the shots attempted from outside the area, which is good. They're, they're, if they're outside the area, rarely get to shoot from there. Um, we've considered just one out of 47 attempts from inside our penalty area. Now, this could be down to a lot of reasons, right? Short, safe, block. You can just mouse over this off target, uh, block, off target. So a lot of these shots have been blocked or they're off target. Um, and if I'm looking at this, this is where I need to improve. As most of the chances that they come, they're coming centrally. So it would seem that we have been carried by the performances of our goalkeeper. So what I'm going to do with this tactic is I'm going to try... Anyway, we don't have to do anything about the flanks because the flanks are being very well protected. So what I would do is probably change the role. So here, future games, we'll play him as a ball-winning midfielder on defense. Probably with this role, I play him as a deep-line playmaker on support or maybe even a, we'll try a volante on support here so he moves up the pitch and see whether this helps us uh, shore up the central areas that we need to defend. Naturally, the game of football manager doesn't tell us what to do in flashing neon lights. We are expected to use the tools in the game to try and, you know, make a educated guess on the changes that we might need to make. I mean, right now, FM23 is incredibly easy. I think that there are too many easy ways for us to beat the AI. For example, I think the biggest uh, biggest advantage that we have right now is the fact that we are humans, right? We don't play with an algorithm in mind. Now, this means that with this uh, new five substitutions allowed in a game, we can turn things around the moment we drop our five substitutions. So I think that's way too strong of an advantage. And uh, if you are struggling in the game of Football Manager and your tactic has been doing well, my advice is to start by looking at your own substitution strategy first. And if failing that and you, you've tried your best and you're still struggling and you're thinking, hey, maybe I need to go and change my goalkeeper, then before you jump into that, I'm going to go change my goalkeeper. <laughs> try and understand where your chances are coming from. Where, try and, before you change, before you change, uh, bef now, before you go changing your goalkeeper, I think it'd be a good idea if you try to understand whether you're giving your goalkeeper a superhuman task to do in the game of football manager. Because if you are, then perhaps tweaking your tactical system might improve your performances. And there are tools in the game that help us out. I hope that today's video helped you out. If you have any questions, you guys know where to find me. Meanwhile, take care of yourselves. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.